Remember week two of the NFL season a year ago, it was that Monday night game, Seattle hosting Green Bay. I assure you, myself and every single one of the handicappers here at the site remember, because the replacement referees blew the call at the end. We all, with the exception of Anthony Red, had the Packers that night. And, of course, Seattle, because of the tainted call, walked off with the win. Well, how many times have I told you guys that if you wait around long enough, the breaks ultimately even out in the long run, and more often than not, they go in your favor? Okay, granted, I didn't think it would take a little over a year and a half, but that break was returned last night because all of us here, myself included, I guarantee you Shawn Michaels included with another 109 winner on the Panthers last night are all very grateful that the reps picked up the flag last night. Uh, now, of course, you saw Tom Brady was going a little nutso after the game, yelling and screaming at the officials. Of course, he was very calm, cool, and collected with threat of being penalized by the NFL probably, you know, during the post-game press conference. But Let's not feel bad for the Patriots, and let's not feel bad for Tom Brady, because remember, after losing that game last night, Tom Brady gets to go home and snuggle with Giselle. There's worse things in the world. For that, you would take a penalty flag and lose the game and not get the cover. But the Carolina Panthers got the job done. Hey, it was close, but again, they don't discount a winning ticket just because the cover is close. And... Shawn Michaels did it again, guys, last night. 100-dime NFL winner on the Carolina Panthers. He is now 39-16 and 16 with 100-dime NFL releases over the past four-plus seasons, including the Colts on Thursday night in Tampa Bay, outright over Miami two Mondays ago, and tonight he has played just as strong. More importantly, though, it is winning day number 57 out of 86. Because over the past six months, uh, Sean has had 87 plays. He has gone 56 wins, 29 losses, and two pushes with those selections. With a profit, making $10 betters. And this is net money, wins, minus losses, minus big. Making $10 betters, a little over $16,400 with those 80-some plays. And tonight is one and only 100-dime Mid-American Conference Odds Makers Era Game of the Year Buffalo and Miami. Now, you may recall last Tuesday, Sean was one of only two handicappers here at the site to have a play on Toledo at home against Buffalo, as the Bulls had won seven straight games coming into that road contest. He went against the Bulls, had a 100-dime winner on Toledo, and of course, Toledo won, jumping out to the 38 nothing lead, but then holding on for dear life, 51-41. Tonight, Buffalo is at Miami of Ohio. It's his one and only 100-dime MAC Oddsmakers Error Game of the Year. He is 6-1 this season with 100-dime college football side selections, including Auburn over Georgia. Talk about another miracle winner on Saturday. And UCLA over Washington on uh, Friday night. And this play is just as strong. What more can I tell you about Shawn Michaels, guys? The guy just keeps on winning. Listen, you want to save money today? You can use it for Shawn Michaels' play. You can use it for any particular pick, package, whatever. Any single purchase here at the site today, save $25 simply by using coupon code, ready for this? Save 25. Save 25. S-A-V-E and the number 25. Want to talk about the $5 play of the day releases? Have two of them going today. The first one going to Matt Rippers for a second straight day. Last night, Matt hit his first 400,000 star NBA release of the season. He called it his cheap chalk crusher, and I dare you to say that three times quickly. Cheap chalk crusher. I can't do it. Anyway, uh, he had the Golden State Warriors. My, everybody's sitting there right now silently going, cheap chalk crusher, cheap chalk crusher. See, it's not that easy. Next, tomorrow's task, we're going to have you, you know, tap your head and roll it around on the stomach at the same time. Anyway, uh, he cashed in with the Golden State Warriors, getting the job done, and an 11-point win is a 7.5, 8-point road favorite at Utah. And tonight he has a play every bit as strong as opening college basketball game of the year. It is a play he's won four of the past five seasons. It is 400,000 star winner number 19 out of 31 overall, and it is on your game between Penn State and LaSalle which tips off at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. And once again, just like yesterday's winner you got for $5, you can get today's play for $5 simply by using coupon code HOOPS5. HOOPS5. That's H-O-O-P-S and the number 5. And your other $5 play of the day selection turned into Chris Jordan. Now remember last Thursday it was. Uh, Chris cashed in with a 300-star college basketball release, his biggest at that point of the season, on Arizona getting the job done at San Diego State. And you damn right well ought to remember it because you got it absolutely free as charity play of the week winner, number 22 out of 32. Well, tonight he has a play that's even stronger. His West Coast showdown winner, Arizona State at UNLV, 
keep in mind, Chris Jordan here in Nevada, in Las Vegas, follows the running Rebs just like everybody else in this town does. Uh, you can get this play for five dollars simply by using coupon code Chris Five. Chris Five, C H R I S, and the number five. Uh, One dollar betters have won a little over twenty-six hundred dollars with all his betting action over the past twenty-three days. If Chris Jordan is not at the site that you're watching my video report, just contact customer service and they will point you in the right direction. A couple other quick notes about some handicappers here. Scott Delaney going for winning day number eleven out of twelve. Twenty-five nine football play tonight. Just as strong as his total winner last time on the Patriots and the Panthers under. Uh, Brett Atkins uh, going for uh, 25 Don College football winner number four out of five, Kent State in Ohio, and his fourth straight winning day as he scored last night on the Panthers. I, of course, had the Panthers as well last night. Craig Davis, uh, his NFL profits now a little over $9,200 dating back to the end of the 2011 season after he had a 49 winner on Carolina last night. The bad news, Jeff Benton, well, he did not hit 75 dime winner number 21 out of 28 as the Pats Panthers stayed under the price uh, yesterday. And of course, I told you that was my free selection yesterday. I told you I thought the game would stay under the total, and that's exactly what happened. Uh, 11 and 1 run now with football free selections, and 13 out of my last 15 free picks have cashed overall. Uh, that's after a nice little 6 0 football sweep this weekend. And let's maybe try to make it 7 in a row tonight. But I have to warn you. 11 and 1 with my last 12 football free picks. This is probably the weakest of them all. Okay, I'm looking at tonight's game uh, between Buffalo and Miami of Ohio, and I see a total of 49 points. And you know that phrase, it takes two to tango? Well, here's the issue here. You need two teams generally to get an over. Now, you've got a Buffalo team that has averaged, you know, one hell of a lot of points. In fact, they have scored over 30 points in seven straight games. You've got a Miami of Ohio team that is giving up an average of 33 points a game. Problem is you have a Miami of Ohio team that lost its starting quarterback uh, right before Halloween. And in the two subsequent games, the two other quarterbacks who have attempted a total of 55 points or 55 passes from the entire season, they have managed to guide the uh, Red Hawks to a total of three field goals. That's right. Three field goals, nine points the past two games. I think tonight you're going to have a little bit of a hangover effect that is going to be uh, a problem for Buffalo. I mean, listen, the Bulls could win this 70-7, to 7, okay? They could run up numbers like they will, uh, like a Baylor team does against everybody. Um, but here's the thing. Last week, they trailed 38 nothing at Toledo. And then they came back to make a game of it and only lost 51-41. They're going to win tonight. Can they cover a monster number? Well, that's my best bet tonight, okay? But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the total here right now. you got a monster number, a team that's coming off a loss that snapped a seven-game winning streak, a team that knows it's going to win tonight just by putting on its uniforms and coming out from the locker room, but a team that also is going to be looking forward. Ten days from now, they're going to meet Bowling Green University. And Bowling Green should beat Eastern Michigan, a two-win team that just fired its coach a couple of weeks ago when it meets uh, on Saturday. It's going to meet Bowling Green with the MAC East title on the line and a berth in the MAC Conference Championship game at stake in Buffalo at Ralph Wilson Stadium, where the Bills play. So they're coming off a big loss. They've got their eyes cast ahead. And are they there to embarrass an opponent on national television. Again, I'm looking at this total, and it takes two to tango. I don't know necessarily that you're going to see 60, 70 points scored in this game. I think instead you go ahead and play the under in this one. I think it's going to be a low-scoring game. Listen, you still have 16 points. What? What is? Let me just double-check the actual total right now. You gotta love live. Uh, Let's see, what is the actual total? Sitting at 48 and a half points. And Buffalo is a 24 and a half point favorite, okay? So they don't even have to double the score in order to cover the game, okay? And they could pitch a shutout. But again, I think the under is the way to go. But I caution you, these free picks, as you know, I'm not betting them. I wish I had after hitting 11 of the last 12. This is probably the weakest of all those selections. Nothing in the NBA attracts me tonight whatsoever. College basketball, lean, lean a little toward Arizona State, but I haven't seen Herb Sendek's team do anything on the road yet, so a little cautious, uh, especially after UNLV got blown out by Cal Santa Barbara by 21 points at home last Tuesday and barely got by Nebraska of Omaha. Don't they sell insurance? Anyway, in their last game on Friday night. So that'll do it, guys. Best of luck to you all, and uh, I will catch you again tomorrow when we rack and do